Some breaking news reaching us right here on Plus TV Africa. Russian forces have launched a major military assault on Ukraine with reports of explosions near major cities across the country. In a pre-dawn TV statement, Russian President Vladimir Putin has said Russia did not plan to occupy Ukraine but said Moscow's response would be instant if anyone tried to stop this. Shortly afterwards, attacks were reported on Ukrainian military targets. Ukraine on its part said that Putin, quote, has launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. In a video statement on Thursday morning, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said martial law was now being imposed across all of Ukraine, was saying Russia carried out strikes on Ukraine's military infrastructure and border guard units, military headquarters, airfields, and military warehouses in the cities of Kiev, Dnipro, and Kharkiv, according to officials. Now, reports are also coming of explosions in several Ukrainian cities and gunfire near main, the main Borispil airport in the capital Kiev, a warning sirens were heard blaring in the city with a population of about 3 million. In a last-ditch attempt to avert war, shortly before Mr. Putin's announcement, Mrs. Zelensky had warned that Russia could start a major war in Europe and urge Russian citizens to oppose it. We'll be having a running coverage of this situation all through the day on Plus TV Africa, so you make sure you keep your uh, down on this channel, and definitely we'll get back to this story. And now to talk on leadership and the involvement of youth in the leadership in the nation. It has been said that leadership is the bane of not just Nigeria, uh, but of Africa. It's also been said that the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. Now, what's the relationship between leadership and Africa's youth, and how can they uh, get the skills required they need to be the best leaders and the proper leaders uh, that we have? We would like to welcome at this point our guest, Ayo Deji Olesomi. He is a founder of a leadership organization known as Leadership Intelligence and Business Learning Academy. Ayodeji, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Thank you very much. Uh, um, do you agree that leadership is a bane of, uh, of, of Nigeria and indeed Africa? Definitely. Yes. Definitely, certainly. Um, this has been a big challenge, not just now, uh, over the years. And um, if you look at uh, a report, I mean, even if you look at Wikipedia, um, you realize that uh, Africa itself, you know, you have, as of 2015, the report of 2015, 19% of the youth of the world global population, uh, we have 19%, you know, from Africa. And um, it's estimated that by 2030, you're going to have about 42% uh, of the world youth population from Africa. So um, if you look at the basic problem in Africa, the major problem in Africa, that's always been leadership problem, you know, with different branches, corruption, poverty, uh, embezzlement, infrastructure. These are branches of the main route itself. But the major problem has always been leadership. It's always All right, Ayodeji Olasami, let's uh, quickly roll this tape. When we return, we'll continue with the uh, conversation surrounding leadership and how youths can actually be, you know, part of this quest. believe in building people, people will build systems. All right, it's still plus, uh, 
Plus TV Africa, and this is The Breakfast. Uh, still having a guest in the studio, Ayodeja Laslami. He's the founder of the Leadership Intelligence and Business Learning Academy. Let's quickly get straight to the crux of the matter. Can you uh, bring us up to speed with what uh, the Leadership Intelligence and Business Learning Academy is about? All right. Um, lead uh, Business, I mean, uh, LIBL Academy is the name of the organization. And um, it means Leadership Intelligence and Business Learning Academy. You know, um, we run courses uh, such as LIC. LIC means Leadership Intelligence Course. Uh, BIC, Business Intelligence Course. TLIC, T Teens Leadership Intelligence Course. Presently, we have a Leadership Intelligence Course, you know, coming up this March. Um, we've had registrations from different people all over the country, uh, institutions basically. Um, uh, registration closes by March uh, 7th, technically. And um, the training is aimed at uh, equipping the youth, uh, both um, entrepreneurs, students, and the likes, uh, on artificial intelligence, business intelligence, uh, spiritual intelligence, communicative competence, as you can see, even from the video that we have, um, different facilitators from different fields, financial intelligence, and the likes, you know, hmm. just for the program. Okay, never heard of spiritual intelligence before. <laughs> oh cool. yeah, there is. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so, so uh, leadership intelligence uh, business uh, lane academy. How how long has this um, institution been around for, and uh, what have what have you been able to achieve with the uh, LIBL Academy? Okay. Um, suffice to know that um, LIC we had LIC last year, but it wasn't under the company LIBL Academy. That's the leadership intelligence. Course. Yes, the leadership okay. intelligence course. So yeah, but it didn't come under LIBL Academy. So this is the first time it's coming under LIBL Academy. Um, of course, so the, uh, if you check some of our uh, records, uh, even from the previous ones, you realize that people from the testimonies, uh, it's been quite uh, impactful, you know, from the previous one. So this present one, at least presently, we have over 1,000 people all across the nation who have registered for this coming um, LIC. Uh, yeah, yeah, LIC, and it's basically free. It's free for all registered participants. That's, uh, that's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, well, well, how come? Uh, well, okay, so um, as of last year, when we had the LIC, people had to pay. But when we did an advert, we realized many people reaching out to us and say, believe me, do you know I really want to uh, register for this, but I don't have the money. So this year we decided, okay, you know what, let's leave the door open for as many people who want to benefit from this and um, see how we can also contribute our quota. You know, Amazing. leadership is about service. Amazing. You agree? Amazing. We, we, we certainly agree. Mm, definitely. <laughs> so, but let's, let's talk about how people can be part of, you know, this leadership academy and what they stand to benefit, you know, in the long run. Okay. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, we really hope to empower people uh, with all of those. Uh, how? Yeah. Uh, well, um, during the training, we, like I said, that's why we've decided to take uh, facilitators from different fields, people who are... Um, authority in their fields, you know, to train people online is a virtual training, you know, and um, people can register via www.liblacademy.com or you can type bit.ly slash LIC2022, you know, to participate. Can you go over that again? All right, www.liblacademy.com or bit.ly L-Y slash L -Y -L -I -C 2022. Okay, interesting, yeah. interesting. Um, uh, who who should who should um, attend this 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 uh, course? Well, students, entrepreneurs, business uh, army, um, professional people, executives, the ones who like leadership. Um, you see, let's be honest. If you were asked what is the major problem in Africa, what would you really say? You know, we've got insecurity, we've got power supply, we've got poverty, diseases, underdevelopment, and the like. Well, you see, these are branches of the problem. The major and the root, pro root of all the problem is leadership in Africa. So if you cut off the branch, what happens? It grows again. But if you tackle the root, then you are likely solving the problem. So, so, I, so I, would, I would say that, you know, leadership, because we, uh, however I want to look at it, whether leadership is uh, fine or horrible, there's still leadership. Maybe we're looking at the kind of leadership that we have. Of course, recently in the, the you know in the West African region, you see coups and 
certain kind of calls and it's a kind of it's a kind of leadership that's been installed and so maybe we'll be looking at the kind of leadership you know that we need to you know move the country for but however let's stay with the crux of the conversation now um how can people be part of this process how can people be part of the academy and um is it free? Do they have to pay? Does it cost anything? Uh, well, it's free. It's completely free. Okay. Uh, certification is also free. But before you can be certified, you would need to ensure that you pass the exam. So it's not just a training that we want to put up a trainer and say, okay, come for a training and then attend. But, um, so we've got two terms. The first term is in March. You, may, uh, you could recall that I mentioned that it starts in March 12th. So the first term is in March, March 12th. And then after March, you're going to have a break of uh, one month. Then the second term is in May. And the graduation itself is in um, September. So which means that between May and September, you have a project to, to complete. You have a project to work, you know, work on. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, and what, what are the outcomes? What, what are the learning outcomes for this, this course? Oh, uh, well... Um, Definitely, we believe that people will be, you see, the, the first thing about leadership when you want to train is mindset, to change mindset. And when mindset is changed, you can see behavioral changes, right? So basically, we hope that people's mindset will be positively changed, you know, and as well as those who have skills. You know, if you, uh, from the advert, you realize that we, uh, our, our slogan is, build people, people with base systems. So one of the things we are trying to do is to build people through the mindset. And if you can build people, you realize that what you are referring to, uh, as regards the challenges we have in leadership in West Africa, you realize that is as a result of build, people not building a system that can work. But when you have built the people, you realize the system itself will be put in place effectively. All right. So this is the uh, Leadership Intelligence course. Yes. It's a course um, open to uh, a wide array of people uh, who can sign up and it's free. It's a virtual training on leadership brought to you by the Leadership Intelligence and Business, Business Learning Academy. Yeah. Um, starts in March. Yes. Starting and it has two terms. So for those who would like to register, let's go over the registration details again. Yes. Okay. Um, www liblacademy.com So they go to www.liblacademy.com yeah. They'll see a registration link. Yes. Okay. Or, or you can type bit.ly slash capital LIC 2022. All right. bit.ly slash LIC 2022. Yes. Okay. Is, is there a phone number to call for inquiries? You know, oh, yes. Um, 0022 Eight eight one four five eight. I got that again. Um, zero zero two two eight eight one four five eight. And if you want to chat with us on WhatsApp, or zero eight one one zero zero four zero eight two four. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, Ayodeji Olesomi, who's the founder of My the uh, in Leadership Intelligence and Business Learning Academy. Uh, very interesting to see uh, the young people, and not just young people, even older ones, <laughs> uh, take advantage of this, this wonderful opportunity to have yeah. this virtual training on leadership, because yeah. leadership skills are needed everywhere, even in the home, yeah. you need leadership <laughs> skills. Yeah, you know, yeah. In, 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 in your profession in football, even in football, you need leadership skills mm. everywhere, yeah. um, in the workplace, uh, in the marriage, you know, mm -hmm. and even in the church. Yeah, touching those areas in as well. In the church, you need, you need leadership yeah. skills. Yeah. All right. Um, that's much you can take. Um, we'll be back, Percy, to talk some more. All right, definitely. When we uh, return, we will be right here to talk some more. And this time, we'll be looking at an issue of impeachment all the way from Zampera State. Please stay tuned. <laughs>